How much froth is my hardcore Iron Man which cannot leave PvP worlds? The account got one major goal and that is obtaining an infernal cape. This series could end at any point, especially with the occasional cryptic hints given to the hunters. And the current bounty is on screen and it's slowly increasing every single episode. Mining while editing got me 71 mining. Time to do a quest, Dragon Slayer. That will put us at 39 defense, just one level away from 40. This is where we complete the quest, Dragon Slayer completed, started at 62 combat. We're now 64 combat, 54 strength and 38 defense. In two defense levels, we can wear dragon hide bodies again. Beautiful. That's 39 defense. There we go. 40 defense. That's all we needed. 65 combat now. We now have an upgrade for this account. The blue D height body T which we got from a hard clue scroll. If we focus on the magic defense here. 58 to 78. The chance of someone splashing a tell block on me now is much higher. 56 crafting, you know with 56 crafting there are actually two upgrades we can get Phoenix necklace. This necklace actually prevents me from getting killed if someone decides to dragon claw me I think I might start using the Phoenix necklace when I'm not doing combat just for extra precaution Here we go an upgrade to the, the account look at that we are making the shield Look at that, eight, plus 87 magic defense to 88. And in addition to the extra one magic defense, we also get some range attack bonus, plus three. Another shield I have decided to get for my wall is a Displate. And luckily for all of us, Displate happens to be today's video sponsor. This plate is the 21st century's way to put art on your wall. This plate is a metal poster designed to capture your unique passions. Whether you like movies, animals or landscapes, there will be a unique design just for you. Mounting a this plate on a wall is super easy, no tools are required, you just put a sticker on the wall, then you place the magnet on this sticker and it's done. I personally got three this plates on my wall, I got a lion. I got a mountain and I got a runescape map as well. And for every display sold, one tree is planted in Africa. And if you purchase this plate using my link, you get 26% discount if you buy one or two and 36% discount if you buy three or more. The discount will automatically be applied if you use my link in the description down below. Five kills in, we got a Mystic Staff. Normally this isn't an upgrade, but due to an equipment rebalance change from Jagex, this actually gives plus two magic defense compared to the Battle Staff. Okay, I just missed a level, but that was 50 to smithing. I took a short break. <laughs> Look at this account. All right, we got a medium clue scroll. We're gonna attempt to do this one. All right, this must be the casket. Yep, there we go. All right, there we go. Three, two, one, good luck. We get high ox. And there we go, 68 range, beautiful. All right, fellas, it's time for a hint. We're gonna put private on. So anyone who's checking my house portal real quick, they can see that my house is in Taverly. Oh, he actually did scout. <laughs> this is the guy that almost got me at Fossil Island. I wanted to do sheep herder, but I, uh, I'm not doing it in front of this scout. <laughs> What is the chance that we get a grabby key before someone comes here and finds me? All right, here we go. We got a hard clue scroll. Can we do this one? That's step one. Completed, 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 completed. <sighs> I don't think I can do this one. We have to drop four steps completed clue scroll. Sad, sad, sad. Way 64 hit points. I didn't even realize I was that close. 31 on the druid's kill and no keys. All right, we changed our task. We got 46 wolves. 29 slayer. Oh, look who it is. And we're gone. <laughs> All right, I, I did actually give him some hints. Here we go, dragon impling. Yes, let's go. And we get three dragon daggers. Oh my, that's like, oh, it's just 50k. Ooh, ninja impling. Hey, ninja. And we got a hard clue scroll. Can we do it? And we cannot do this one. Demonic runes, too scary for me. Oh, dirty slayer. All right, a bit of AFKing at the Ammonite Crabs. We got some large fossils right there. 69 range. One level to go until we can finally wear our black dehyde body. Oh my god. You little gremlin. Or should I teleport or? 
Is this the casket? There we go, we got a casket. All right, medium casket. Good luck from Pimpact, here we go. Straight, oh no. Rune chain body, this means coin go up. Oh my god. What the hell? He knew. Oh, that was scary. I think I was slow too. I'm not gonna show all the hints I'm doing because people don't always find me based on the hints. Uh, but we're gonna flick private on, private off and get 7th range here at the Fire Giants. This is going to be the final hit. No, one more, one more. I've been waiting for this for so long. I don't think you guys realize. It's been a struggle getting this level because it's so slow and people keep finding me. Seventh range. All right, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Get out, get out. All right, the first upgrade we got. Black D hide body from 88 plus magic defense to 105. That's plus 17 compared to the blue D hide. And the second upgrade we got a crystal bow. This is pretty good, I think. If we compare it to the Dargishan crossbow, plus 49 range strength to plus 78, that's a major, major difference. But I don't know where we're gonna use this one. Hespori, we have attempted to kill it before. We couldn't do it before, but now we got a crystal bow. Alright, here we go. We need some RNG here. We need to get into the sharks right now. Oh my god. That's a kill. Oh my god. Get ready to teleport. Alright, no one's here. Clear out, Hespori. 12k farming experience. First Hespori kill completed. We we can actually do another boss now. Hespori. Alright, Herbro time. We can actually make ourselves super, uh, super store potions if we boost up with botanical pies. Look at them, they are so beautiful. I still need bruise though, I still need bruise. I just got back home from Barcelona, and of course I'm doing a sneaky barrel chest for nothing. Dragon Impling, free Dragon Impling. And we get Dragonstone Bolt Tips, who not worth. We got a shooting star, we can now AFK for maybe 20 minutes. See you guys in a few seconds. And 20 minutes of AFKing for 500 Stardust. Beautiful. Another day, another shooting star, and I'm here alone. So it could be two hours of mining. And that's 72 mining, thank you. We now have 2200 Stardust, plenty of crafting experience. These two prey potions are my last, so we need to get some runners here from the Chaos Roots on top of Mauritania. There we go, 55 strength. Ooh, 65 hit points. And this is going to be 56 strength, thank you very much. And one combat level. Now level 81s can attack me. Scary, scary. All right, solid session once again. Let's see here. Um, seven runners, seven prey potions. Beautiful. All right, another barrel chest for nothing. Did you see that? He was waiting for me. All right, I got this medium blue scroll, so we're gonna do it. Step number five of this medium clue scroll, I need an Addy Square Shield. I can get one from the crystal chest and I got three crystal keys. But I didn't get it, so we're dropping this clue scroll. Alright, we got all these stardust, we're gonna buy ourselves some bag of full gems. Give us an onyx, thank you very much. Okay, we got one dragon stone. A nice little 57 crafting, thank you very much. Big smithing level coming up, 53 smithing. Uh, we can now make mithril crossbow bolts. That's gonna be our main fletching method. 54 smithing, completed. 50 fletching, completed. And this is a casket, easy casket, probably nothing. Probably nothing, good luck. Shard Dragonstone Jewelry Scroll. Ooh. We need to have completed hero skills. Sad. But it's gonna be useful in the future, maybe if I complete the quest. Oh. <laughs> 51, 52, and 53 fletching. I now have a reason to do Zolra. 70 magic. And there we go. 55 smithing. Completed. Here we go. Big level coming up. 54 fletching, meter bolts. And Mithril Crossbow can be made. Ooh, Mithril Crossbow even, I didn't think of that. And there we go, Mithril Limb. And that's the Maple Stock. Ooh, a Magpie in the middle of nowhere. For nothing. And there we go, we got ourselves a Mithril Crossbow. From 94 range accuracy to 118. Uh, so yeah, we are retiring the Bone Crossbow. 
Goodbye. All right, we are back to the coin shaman. Coin go up, thank you. As mentioned earlier, I do have a crystal bow, which is still my best in slot, but I no longer have any charges on this crystal bow, and it's gonna cost me 900k to get one back, so it's money I don't have. All right, hero's quest. Is this the final thing I do in this episode? Let's go. For this part of Hero's Quest, I needed a black arm gang member and I decided to go with the main approach. And this should be the quest completed. Plenty of experience gained. Any levels? No levels. But we can now enter the Hero's Guild. And one massive thing we can do now that we have completed this quest. Boom! We now have glories. These are level 30 teleports. I'm still considering... Uh, a uh, crazy archaeologist, uh, but it is scary. It is a scary place. I don't want to get caught up there. The crazy archaeologist is something we will be saving for the next episode. If you guys did enjoy this one, leave the video a like. Can we go for 7,000 likes this time? And uh, subscribe if you are new. We are very close to 250,000 subscribers. That is my goal this year. And with that being said, I will see you guys in maybe one week, maybe two, maybe three. Maybe four, maybe five.